A week after the death of his dad, Barry Bonds returned to the San Francisco Giants. As expected, he was pretty quiet and didn't say much, according to his teammate J.T. Snow. The Giants, without Barry, went 3-3. Three and three. Bonds entered Saturday's game against Randy Johnson and the D-backs, just one homer shy of his seventh career 40-homer season. Here we go. There's Bonds, top of the fourth. He's back and makes an impact. Bonds hits one a mile to deep right field. This one is way back. Out of here. Number 653, seven shy of his godfather, Willie Mays. 24 homers in his last 27 games. Take another look. Bonds would say later, the emotions just went right through me. He head back to the dugout after the monster home run. And once he got back to the dugout, Barry would shed some tears thinking of his dad, Bobby, of course. And then his heart, he says he couldn't stop his heart rate from racing. He ended up leaving the game. Giants say they expect him to play on Sunday. Bottom nine, Giants up 2-1. Jerome Williams looking on. Tim Wall gets Carlos Baerga. Williams is pumped up. Baerga is stunned. Thought it was ball four. Giants win. More on Barry's return from our Pedro Gomez. A week after the death of his father, Barry Bonds could hardly wait to get back to what he does best. It was after he hit a towering home run off Randy Johnson in the fourth inning, the emotionally charged Bonds saw his heart rate race upwards of 160 beats per minute. I think it's just a big emotional week for him, and then uh, hitting the home run on top of it had a huge adrenaline push, and uh, that increased his heart rate. The emotions just went through and got a little lightheaded. Couldn't stop my heart rate from pounding so hard. So it's better now. At age 39, Bonds has had one constant in his baseball career, dad slash coach Bobby Bonds. But the elder Bonds succumbed to cancer on August 23rd, and the younger Bonds must now finish his career with the memories and advice passed down over the years. My dad's been my coach my whole life, and you know, everything he's ever taught me, I have to, I have to stay in my mental roller decks now by myself. And I've never had to do it alone, ever. He's so focused. I don't expect him to, um, to change at all. I just think um, uh, it's a little different now, but uh, he's, he's capable of going out and pretty much doing whatever he wants on the field. I don't think you ever get away from losing someone like your parent. You don't get away from that ever. No, you just you know, try to move on. That's all you can do. Bond said he feels like he's being carried, as though someone is giving him an extra push. That someone is his late father. With his 653rd career home run, Bonds inched closer to his father's best friend and his own godfather, Willie Mays. In Phoenix, Pedro Gomez, ESPN. Pedro Martinez versus Andy Pettit at Fenway Red Sox. A chance to get within two and a half of the Yankees. Top four, Nick Johnson to left. Kareem Garcia scores, and it's 5-4 New York. Pedro tagged for five runs on nine hits in only four innings. Bottom five, Andy Pettit brings up Kevin Millar. Pettit struck out seven in seven innings. He did not walk a batter. Top eight, Enrique Wilson. To right, this off Alan Embry. Aaron Boone scores. It's 6-4 Yankees, but watch the pitch. Jason Veritek sets up way high, and Embry throws it way low. Oh. Yeah, Wilson three for four Saturday. Still top eight, Johnson. What a game he had. To left center, it scores two, eight, four Yankees. Johnson's second career, four hit game. He was four for five, drove in four. Boston answers, though, bottom eight. First and third for the Red Sox, Jeff Nelson. Plunks Veritek, that loads the bases. So two batters, one out later, enter Mariano Rivera. First guy he faces, pinch hitter Dave McCarty. And McCarty hits it wicked hard. Off the wall, Yankees lead is down to two, it's eight six. McCarty's had several big hits in the last couple of weeks. Two batters later, Johnny Damon walks with the bases loaded. So it's eight seven, the Red Sox get within one with a three run eight. Next batter, Rivera. Strikes out Bill Miller to end the inning. What was he swinging at? I don't know. Top nine, Jorge Posada. And it's time to say hello to Lilfra <laughs> of BK Kim. Posada hit two homers. Yankees win 10-7. They're four and a half up atop the AL East. Mariners two back at first place. Oakland in the West looking to bash Baltimore. Rick Bauer brought in. Bottom five, bags full, two out. Ray Sanchez batting. What about Sanchez as a Mariner? He's at 344 since the trade from the Mets. Ben Davis, that's a double, two runs at score. Two batters later, Mike Cameron. Hot shot right off of Tony Batista. That's an error on Batista and a run scores. Then Bauer 
to the backstop. That's going. The run scores. Brett Boone up next. Looking for space, opposite way, got it. Cameron scores. Scoreboard will show eight runs in the fifth. They'd add two more. The Orioles committed three errors, which led to seven unearned runs. Mariners win it easily, 13 to one. All right, well, what about the A's? Looking for their eighth straight win, hosting Tampa Bay. You know, during this streak, they uh, have averaged close to eight runs, got an ERA under three, and they have improved a whole bunch of games in the standings. Four games they've picked up. These guys may never lose again. The top two. Ted Lilly rings up former teammate Adam Pyatt. Lilly allowed just one run on three hits and six and two thirty struck out seven. Ted Lilly, bottom three. Eric Chavez, two run double. Guy who got 80 RBIs. A's have won eight in a row. Four two is the final here. Oakland, a major league best, 19 and nine in the month of August. So here's an updated look at the AL West and wild card races following Saturday. Mariners win, but so does Oakland, of course. So the AL West standings remain the same. Seattle two games back, but. With Boston's loss to the Yankees, the Mariners move into the wild card lead by half game. The wild card. Well, let's take a look. Marlins and Expos in Florida, bottom six, Juan and Carnacion. Off LeVon Hernandez, a three run shot is 16th. It's 3 0 Florida. Watch this. Bottom eight, Hector El Monte to Mike Lowell. Lowell, a broken left hand. He's out for the rest of the regular season. Listen to this. The initial diagnosis, he's out four weeks. He'll see a specialist Sunday. He leads the Marlins with 32 homers and 105 RBIs, a huge loss. Top nine, Brian Schneider off Braden Looper. It scores two, and the Marlins' lead is down to one. Three batters later, two outs. Orlando Cabrera flies out to win the game, and the Marlins win 4-3 behind Carl Pavano, who struck out a career-high 10. Pavano has won five of his last six decisions. Could the Phillies keep pace against the Mets? Jason Phillips and the Mets, 10-5 in the last 15 games. Bottom four went on. Phillips, he's built for this. A two-run homer, his 11th of the year, and the 5,000th homer in the New York Mets' 41-year franchise history. Two batters later now. Jay Bell facing Randy Wolf. You make the call. Is it the Mets' 5,001st homer in their franchise history or a top play by Phillies outfielder Pat Burrell? Hmm. hmm. Are you thinking, Steve? Uh, I try not to think about the Mets. Okay. Burrell robs Bell of a homer. Phillips can't believe it's a Sports Center Top 10 nominee. We're tied at 2 2 on Mike Lieberthal. One for five and an RBI. Lieberthal hitting 320. The Phillies win and they keep pace with the Marlins on top of the wild card. Let's run through the National League Central race, starting with the Astros hosting San Diego. Jared Fernandez looking for his second win. In the third, Lance Berkman with a top 10 nominee, robbing Mark Loretta next inning. Miguel Ojeda, Berkman almost exactly the same catch. Oh! He also homered in the game, his 23rd, not bad. Top eight, seven, six, Houston, the bases are loaded. Two out, Billy Wagner gets Brian Giles to end the inning. And Wagner is out of the jam. Bottom eight. Bases loaded, Wagner, his second plate appearance of the season, and Jay Watasik walks him. Scores a run, Wagner's first career walk and first career RBI. Astros win 11-6, what about the Cardinals? Well, could they say tie with the Astros in the Central on top of it? Jim Edmonds against the Reds this year, 200 batting average, three homers, nine RBIs. You know, Edmonds is not much of a stat guy. Two-run home run. For Edmonds, two for four in this game, four RBIs, number 34 on the year. He also had his 31st double. Let's flash back. Remember, it was a long time ago. It was Friday. Against these Reds, Jim Edmonds doing his thing in the outfield, just robbing another guy of a homer. So what happened Saturday against Russell Brannion, facing Brett Tomka with a man on? This. You know, Edmonds could be a gangster because he just committed another robbery. Oh, you've been watching the MTV Awards. I'm telling you, you know. It's a good show, <laughs> isn't it, Russell Brennan? Cards win, stay on top of the Central. You and your gangster rap. Yes. Cubs hosting the Brew Crew. <laughs> Scott Pesednik, second inning facing Sean Estes, single left center. Eddie Perez and Bill Hall score, and Milwaukee's got a 4-1 lead. A Pesednik on first, Keith Ginter is up. Estes attempts to pick off Pesednik, gets a great jump and steals the base. Estes. Lasted only two innings, gave up five runs on four hits. Ginter's still up there. And this one is jazzed a bit outside. Sednik to third. Ginter would walk, and Brady Clark is the next guy up. Estes attempts to pick off Ginter. Heads up play by Pesednik, steals home. Milwaukee wins 9-5. Brewers won 12 of 14, while the Cubs have lost three of four. So here's where the NL wild card sits. The top four teams all won Saturday, and they remain separated by only one game. D-backs, Expos, and Cubs all lost ground. In total, eight teams are still within two and a half games. Of the 
for first in the Central. Mike Maroth trying to avoid his 19th defeat and avoid the Tigers' 100th loss. Frank Thomas, he's been lifting. 38 homers on the year, 414 in his career, 3-0 Chicago. Top seven, Maroth still in there against Carlos Lee. Career high, 27th homer, 94 RBIs for Lee, 19th loss for Maroth. The White Sox now a half game ahead of the Royals, who were rained out. Twins in Texas, Johan Santana, 5-0 in August, top one, facing Alex Rodriguez. And he gets a run. Santana had it working. Found a four, Marcus Tim. Santana pits six shutout innings before leaving with a left hammy injury. Top six, Shannon Stewart, single, scores A.J. Pruszynski. They waved Denny Hawking as well. Every day, Eddie closed his 31st save and 34 chances, and the Twins win 2-0. So here's where things stand in the AL Central. Angels Royals postponed because of rain. White Sox take a half game lead with Cy Young hopeful Esteban Loaiza pitching Sunday. Perez, his first start for Pittsburgh since being required in the Brian Giles trade. Nobody out in the third. Perez gets into trouble with his control. Can't find the plate with Rafael Furcal. Next batter, same deal with Marcus Giles. He walks. Next batter, Gary Sheffield. You know, he'd rather just single. What a season for Chef, huh? If it wasn't for Pujols and Bonds, he'd be your MVP. For call scores, tie game at one, Chipper Jones. Oh, yeah, walking again. Two batters later with the bags full. Javi Lopez, driven. Two runs would score. Braves are up three to one. You know, this team is different than previous years. They got a lineup, Steve Berthew, in this Atlanta Braves team. I'm they telling you. They won't be born in the postseason. After allowing another double, yeah, that'd be all for Perez. Two and a third, six earned runs, five walks. Mike Hesman off of Nelson Figueroa. Braves win 13-6. All right, Dodgers hosting Colorado. Denny Stark got a no-hitter through five. No-hitter alerts were issued in the newsroom. Yes. But Nobody was six. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Roberts, Juan Uribe, is that an error or a hit? It's rolled a hit. So much for the no-hitter. Next batter, the wheels are coming off here. Paul LaDuca walks on Green Walk. Stark walked a season high, six and five and a third. So they're loaded up. Walks in a run. Not happy. Lee, five nothing.